Hey everybody, my name is Adrian and I'm a homeschool dad. Now we've been homeschooling now for going on seven years. I have two children aged 12 and 10 and we live with our dog Rosie, our cat Lily and our hamster Pip. I am also a writer. It's my day job. It's what I do every single day. I read so much as a kid that I eventually started putting down my own stories. And I also like to teach creative writing. And when it comes to primary school kids, such as yourself, I have a really fun and interactive way to do that. So today, we're going to do four things to help us write our story. We're going to pick a title. We're going to pick our characters. We're going to decide on a place where our story happens and then we're going to learn how to plan our story. We'll write our story and at the end of this video I'm going to give you something cool as well. Now when I pick a title I like to use a book. In this case I've chosen the 91 story treehouse and how I do it is I turn to a random page or ask you to turn to a random page I take my pen or my finger and I go bloop and I have a look and see what word it is the first word is somehow write down all the words you get choose between five and seven let's pick another one horses another time let's go towards the beginning of the book let's pick another word what do we get? Breakfast. Let's pick three more. And second last word is great. And our last word is Andy. Great. We've got seven words. Let's write them all down. So here's the words that we wrote down. I put them in my little book. They are somehow horses time, breakfast, and great, and Andy. Now the next trick, and this is an important one, and this is where we start getting into the creative writing process, is we need to find a sentence that we can use with all of those random words that we've chosen. And I've made one up already, and I hope you'll agree with it. I've written it down over here. My title of the story for today is the time the horses had Andy for breakfast. Now I don't mean they had Andy round and they ate him for breakfast. I mean perhaps that Andy was visiting and the horses were serving him breakfast. So that's the title of our story, the time the horses had Andy for breakfast. Right, now we're going to pick the characters for our story. And lucky for us, we already have two we can choose from. We have got horses and we have Andy, which I've written down in my little book and which I want you to do and write down in your little book or your piece of paper or your exercise book or whatever it is that you're using. And once we've written down our characters, I want you to pick an adjective. An adjective is a word that describes the noun. In this case, horses is one, Andy is another. And I want you to pick just one word that describes each. The horses could be, for example, big horses. They could be brown horses. They could be fast horses. I don't know. I don't mind. It's your decision. Then we're going to pick one for Andy. And Andy in this case could be short. He could be happy. Could he be cross perhaps? We don't know. Maybe he's hungry Andy. Let's write down a word that we have chosen to describe our horses and Andy. Now we're going to choose the setting for our story. Now setting is a fancy way to say place or where the story happens. In this case, what do you think would be an appropriate setting? What would be a good place? Where should our story take place? If we're talking about um, some horses and Andy who's coming, perhaps the horses live in a cottage. So we would write down cottage as the first. And let's pick another one. Where would the cottage be? Would the cottage be in a forest? Would it be in an open field? Is it on a mountainside? Is it on a beach? I don't know. Again, it's your choice. So write down your settings. In this case, I have picked for mine cottage and forest. And just like we did with our characters, we now want to pick an adjective, a word that describes the noun for our 
settings. So in this case, I have cottage and I have forest. What kind of cottage? Is it a large cottage? Is it a wooden cottage? Is it one made of brick? Uh, is it small? Is it red? Is it blue? I don't know. Again, it's your choice. And then I've got to pick something for forest. So what would I pick for forest? G. Would it be a big forest, a small forest? Would it be a sunny forest? Would it be a dark forest? Would it be a scary forest? Would it be a happy forest with elves and pixies and unicorns running around? It's your choice. It's your story. Pick what you like. And now we're ready to plan our story. We have all of our little things in place, which are called elements. So we have our title, the time the horses had Andy for breakfast. We have our characters, the horses and Andy. In my case, I've chosen brown horses and a hungry Andy. We then have our setting, our place where the story is going to happen. We have a wooden cottage and we have a green forest. You might have picked something else. That's your decision. It is, after all, your story. And now we're going to plan and this is how we're going to do it. So to plan our story, I want you to take your exercise book, your piece of paper, whatever it is you're using, and I want you to write down four things. Give yourself enough space between them, like I have done, so that we have four sections. These four sections are what are called paragraphs. The first one I want you to write down is what happened first, then write what happened next, then write what happened then, and then write what happened last. So we'll have what happened first, what happened next, what happened then, and what happened last. And now we are ready to write our story. So what happened first? Let's write a paragraph for that. Put something down. Start with a sentence. Maybe that sentence could be as simple as, once upon a time, Andy reached into his letterbox and found some mail. He took out an envelope, opened it, and inside was an invitation from the horses to breakfast. We could start there. So we could write that down. Then we need to know what happened next. So what happened next? Well, Andy could have left his home and he could be walking through the forest and walking alongside the rivers and perhaps he fell into the river. Maybe he was chased by squirrels. I don't know. It's your story. What happened then? Well, he probably then arrived at the horses, he probably knocked on the door, they opened it, they let him in, and he could have been amazed at the spread of food, at the smells, at the warmth of the cooking fires. Let's make something up as we go along, and then we're going to decide what happened last. Again, just a sentence, just to start you off with, it could have been anything like they finished breakfast, they had a nice time, maybe they took out a board game and played something, or maybe something happened, maybe the breakfast wasn't good, maybe something had gotten burnt, or the coffee was cold, or Andy wasn't happy, or Andy was very happy, I don't know, it's your story, let's write down something, a sentence that starts off each of these sections, so what happened first, Andy got an invitation, what happened next, he left to go to the horse's cottage. What happened then? He arrived and what happened last? Well, that I'll leave up to you. So before we finish up, let's recap. This is our story. Our story is called The Time the Horses at Andy for Breakfast. It is about some brown horses and a hungry Andy, in my case, and the horses live in a wooden cottage in a green forest. We are going to decide what happened first, what happened next, what happened then, and what happened last? At the end, how do we finish it off? And this is what I'm going to do. I'd like you to actually take this title. I'd like you to take these characters or the characters that you chose and the adjectives you chose. And I want you to write out the story. And it really doesn't have to be very, very long. And then, if you want to do so, you can email it to me. If you've written it down on a piece of paper, maybe your mom and dad can take a photograph, maybe they can scan it. If you've done it on computer, excellent, save it. Whatever you've chosen to do, email it to me. And what I will do is I will reply to your email and I will tell you what I thought about your story, what was good about it, and perhaps there is an area or two where you could have improved or something you could have added to it. I will email back 
and I will give you some feedback on your story. And if you have anything else that you'd like to know about that can improve on your writing, go ahead and drop a comment. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you keep up to date with all my tips and tricks. And I'll give you one little word of advice before we go. If you want to improve your writing, the number one thing that you can do to help with that is to read a lot. Read a lot. Read every single day. Until next time, cheers.